Greetings everyone, and great here. Another Agent Powers 2 Definite Edition replay spawn. Top right side as the red poles. We have X, 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 X. And spawn bottom left our uh, bottom side as the blue Ethiopians. We have Angel, I, R, Cole. Let's take a look at each player's civilization bonuses. The poles are a cavalry civilization. Villagers have health regen starting in Feudal Age, so death pulp can recover from additional repeated raids. Pole works replace a mill, which does give a little bit of immediate value from point out farms. And stone mines generate gold in addition to the stone, which is very, very nice to have. So you can start getting some pretty stone in preparation for your castle age. Unique uh, units is the Oblique, which is an armor ripping unit, as well as a winged Huzzar, an alternative to the final Huzzar. Unique text is Sacrilege Privileges. Knights cost 60 pellets gold, making them pretty close to trash, but not necessarily trash. And Lyktic Legacy, Light Cavalry deals trampled damage. Team bonus is uh, Scout Cavalry, Light Cavalry, and Huzzars do plus one attack for the archer, making them more effective as a counter. Blue over here, the Ethiopians, they are archer civilization. Archers fire 18% faster, receive official food and gold when based on the next age. Pike coming upgrade is free. I wonder if that does not appear to affect Halberdier based on that wording. Unique in it is a short tail warrior, which I'm not familiar with what the short tail warrior does. Roar air, short tail warriors and camel units receive minus three damage from mounted units, make it a bit more effective as a counter to uh, cavalry. Always make them as a soft counter to hard counter. Portion engine increases blast radius of siege workshop units, which is very effective for the Onger line. And outposts get plus three in the line of sight and cost no stones, so you can go for a cheap. Even cheaper uh, outposts there. They're like, what, 25 wood without the stone costs? The stone costs like, buy something really cheap as well, but you don't have to worry about that anymore. I see got villager there. It does lose a scout in return, but that's probably a great trade for red. Right now, red has 26 villagers versus this bonus 24. Lose a little bit behind producing villagers. And now they have the scout trying to hack apart this house. <clears throat> We got a sizable force here <clears throat> as my voice starts cracking once again. Archer and men at arms trying to find an alternative engagement. We got these scouts moving around trying to find their another engagement. There is a wounded villager here. That seems like a good target. Oop, doesn't realize that villager's wounded. And uh, does not focus on the wounded villager right there. That wooden villager is a very good thing, a good item perhaps to potentially dive. Go for a line of palisade walls there in order to secure his wood line. Very nice. He does not take out that palisade wall at any time. These villagers will be hit a little bit. And now we've got a pair of archers trying to gauge like Cali. Takes out another villager there. Good picks there by Red. Blue's now down 25 villagers for his opponent's 28, so he's down by currently two. Make that two and a half of the villager timings, I would say. And we do got a couple villagers here. He may be eyeing for a tower push. Gold deposit's right there. Wait, his gold deposit's right there, which means... If he locks that down, he could deny his opponent's gold entirely. This is a bit of an oversight, him not taking out that, or uh, securing that gold. He's going for this tower. Trying to deny the wood, in which that is only wood deposits wood and as uh, walls as well. But it will be easy to rewall in this little wood deposit here. Just simply extend out this way, the lumber camp over here. Blue's advancing forward with a sizable force here, with three archers, three man at arms, one spearman, one scout. Got some defensive skirmishes here, very nice. And these archers could advance it forward and deny this gold. This gold is going, could easily be the knight of his opponent. Trying to go for some palisade walls there. Oh no, these are full stone walls. Oh. He's hits there on these villagers. Very nice. And the boost lost a large number of villagers. He is actually in a pretty good position right now, able to take the aggression to his opponent. He also has a bit of high ground there to fight those skirmishers from. He does have fletching. Skirmishers have fletching as well. After all, everybody needs a stabilized throwing spear. Oh, 
Archer and, and Spearman holding the line right there. Front advance and forward. That is a full work, not a town center. We do got a tower over here as well. And we do have these villagers still inside this tower now. I would say build the rest of the walls and make his villagers over here and build a tower on this full deposit. Scout King's great damage there on these skirmishers. A lot of these skirmishers are oh so wounded. Starting to hit this gold deposit now. A lot of these skirmishers, like I mentioned before, and I'm very wounded. These archers do pose a threat to these skirmishers. But he's not really hitting right there. Let's get one of the skirmisher, picks off another skirmisher. He's overkilling the wounded skirmish policy. Eh, probably not. These guys do have four pierced armor at the moment. He has got his archer uh, armor research. Those are still inside this tower as well. And I do have these archers falling on back. Now, I'm sure the 50% bonus damage will allow him to get. Or, no, it's just 25% bonus damage. Not sure if that will allow him to do two damage, but probably still just one. Not sure how the rounding works in this game. Looks like some of these stone walls have been built, but I don't think the other ones have been full. Fully built? Maybe they have? That's hard. Bad seeing how this one is, so I think they have been fully built. A bit of stone there. Oh, yeah. The poles. They can uh, generate gold from stone. So denying the stone deposit doesn't mean he actually denies any gold income. So he could actually claim the stone in order to get the gold. Don't go for gold. Go try to go for silver instead. Yeah, that's a horrible joke. Villagers now backing out of that region. Remember as well. Oh, Blue actually has a superior number of villagers mode. Very nice. I was going to say, these villagers have not been tasked for quite some time, so he's probably behind on economy, but he does have a superior number of villagers. Granted, he still has less villagers gathering for quite some time. The entire time. But nonetheless, the villager count is still quite similar. Going for Watchtower over here, very nice. And going for our Lion Palisade walls as well. Blue's not going for his Castle Age. Red. It's now just starts Castle Witch as well as getting some mining technologies, the gold mine. Sorry if you hear my microphone when I'm sitting down my drink. It's attached to the same table I used to, uh, used to set down my drink. There's forces starting to advance on forward. <clears throat> my, my voice has been cracking recently. That's why it seems like I'm a little bit quiet. Because I intend trying to conserve my voice a little bit. As well as get some fluid into me. Do you know how this watchtower fully deployed on the field? Getting some hits there onto that scout. Not a whole lot of damage, however. He's starting to throw some guys inside the tower. Four guys. The moment he will need all five builds in there since he has fletching researched. And now we do have crossbows research. We do have bodkin arrows as well. Knight on the build queue. And he could go point blank range in that tower in order to fire his arrows from there to deny the uh, food as well as possibly a bit of wood, but it's trying to recoil the line over here. Red's now advanced to the ca uh, castle age. Come on, season knights being floating field as well as some skirmishers. Not getting the elite skirmisher upgrade just yet. This scout could start hacking part of the tower while at it, but right now is in a hold ground stance. And Force Butt is backing himself into the door of the tower. Now right now has right now seven fierce armor. These both crossbows do seven damage, and there goes a scout. Knight we're seeing a bit of damage as well. There's two red scouts on the field, as well as good number of skirmishers. Red does not have the elite skirmisher research on the build queue. You can't get it, right? Yes, you can. He's nice picking off that pikeman, very nice. He knows against the, the uh, Lithuanians, which tend to put, or Poles, they tend to play a lot of cavalry. A lot of Slavic nations tend to throw out a lot of their cavalry based. A lot of mainland Europe civilizations are cavalry based. So when you get the Mediterranean, is we start getting less cavalry based. Also. 
you got these crossbows moving around. Do you have these knights pursuing the knight? And you got these crossbowmen being pursued by knights as well. So red is pushing back spawn. We got 10 villagers on a single build queue. That's not going to be great. You may want to eye for some additional town centers. But right now he does he spent all the stone on towers. Blue has got an additional town center. Only one, however. Villager will start advancing in more villager count. Got 51 versus 42. Red may need to eye for some more stone income just to get out more town centers. And blue is just going heavy crossbowmen. Red should eye a lot of skirmishers in return. Knight advancing forward, trying to get some slices onto these villagers. Ow. He does find a couple volleys there onto that villager. So that tower up there, crossbowmen trying to gauge these knights. Those knights will easily go down, but more than these knights are severely wounded. In fact, one has, well, that's, I thought that was one health, but it actually has five health. As for pierce armor, so the crossbows will only take, will take it out in two hits, not one hit. We do got a single scorpion up on a few. Knights nice four may find some hits there. Oh. Skirmishers doing a good job warding away these crossbowmen. Who's eyeing for more crossbowmen now as well as more villagers. Lumber camp still being picked away. Another mining camp or a lumber camp over there. Playing up, we'll be making breaches his own little walls there. There's some safe wood deposits there, and he can perhaps pick up some fishies. Cross one making way forward, and we'll take out that villager. Villager was trying to build an outpost, but then scout off the crossbowman at least. We got 50 villagers for 66. Red has two towns that's currently deployed on the field. Blue currently has two productive. Villager queues as well. Trying to place on these knights. Let's pick up one there. There's just a lot of crossbowmen in this region. He has some skirmishers here. He really should eye the elite skirmisher research, but now we do have a Maganel point on the field. Knight may have not spotted there, but does dodge that shot there. These 21 cross one really don't stick around these siege weapons. The scorpions are down to two health. It'll take two arrows to finish it off. Let's take out that blue knight as well. Red knights are advancing forward. Eight knights may not be enough to deal with all these archers, but if they have low ground damage versus high ground damage, that's another story. And now he's starting to gauge with these knights. Trying to pick off as many as he can. Spreading damage across multiple crossbow there, which is very good. He does pack himself into a corner there. So now he's a sand fight. Council is also firing some arrows as well. Loose Knight does get picked on off. Looks like these crossbow and may go down right there. He does decide to abandon that area when there's only one crossbow left. So good engagement there by Red. Skirmishers, however, may pick him off, finish him off. No body can arrow research for Red either. He's not really eyeing to have a good number of skirmishers for defense. Big wave of villagers now advancing on forward, trying to gauge, trying to deploy a castle on the high ground. Very nice. Which may deny his gold deposit there, but his opponent's gold deposit is... Actually, it's been largely consumed, while this gold deposit still has plenty of gold remaining. Though there's still a small gold deposit over here for Blue to claim if needed. And no, he's not eyeing the castle on the high ground. He's going for the 
castle or right next to the wood line. And that should be ranged in the town center as well. Got the aggressive town center or castle being put on a field. He should have enough villagers here to get it built without losing it. Now Boo's eyeing for a defensive castle on the high ground. Grace Magnelli is pushing forward, trying to find an angle on these villagers. Fight a shot there, gets some good damage there. Does break through the palace gate there. Red's castle is now complete. Also been trying to defend. Blue has not avoided any defensive pikemen in this region. Castle's trying to go on up, and Blue does cast some GG. Up, oh, the Zangre saying, thank you for watching and on to the next replay.